somebody left Gosh. a comment in the video. When are you going to smoke something? And Wes and I was just talking about that off off camera. Man, it takes a long time to it smoke does. shit. It does. Like when you start a brisket, by the time you end it, that's a different day. It's a day. Yeah. It's a different day. Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of Cosmo Unfiltered. Me and my boy Wes. How you going? Doing great. Good. How you doing? I'm doing all right, man. I can't complain. Hey, you look great. Thank you, bro. Losing a little weight. The right way. The right way. Yeah. It's hard too. You're working, man. It's damn hard. But I still get to eat, you know, not you know, I'm not eating like a lunatic like I was before, but eating like crackers for breakfast and ice cubes. No, today I had a banana and one of those Atkins protein bars. Yeah. I don't even know if it's a protein bar. It Have you, is it true that if you, well, how's it go? If you drink your fruit, how's it, it's eat your fruit, drink your vegetables. Is that how it goes? I don't know. Somebody said it was like smoothies are terrible for you or something because of the sugar content. Like um, the, when you blend it up, it kind of. Well, I don't know. I'm not a dietitian. I mean, you know, people say shit like that, but then turn around and. You know, bust through McDonald's and knock out a sure, you know, which is obviously great for you. Yeah, and I'm like, well, you know, pick your poison. No, you yeah, know? that's true. So, how fast do you want to? Yeah. Well, on today's video, we're going to be talking about a lot of things. We're kind of mixing this up a little bit. You know, we're always mixing this up. Always a mixing bit. it up, but I, I damn sure want to talk about the fajitas. You we tell made. me that. Do I look stupid when I hold my microphone like this? You, yeah, you do. You need to get one of these. Dang. You do look stupid. I just can't. I don't want to talk on it like this. Yeah. I, who talk? Who's that tall? Like, come on. I don't know. I could probably talk on that. I should probably trade <laughs> shit. Actually, yeah. I'm sorry. I just feel like I'm staring at the table, or I'm like Freddie Mercury. So you know, I, I've I've done a lot of mistakes with fajitas. I've made a lot of mistakes with fajitas. I think the hardest thing about fajitas is finding the right cut of meat that works for you. And I'll tell you, I've never, on, on this last recipe that we done, the fajitas, they filleted the skirt steak. It looked great. Had a lot of fat in it. Yeah. It was, dude, it was, that was probably the best fajitas I've ever had in my so life. So you say skirt steak. I'm a fan Not of, flank. Well, it, no. It depends what kind of mood I am in. Oh. If I'm like, you know. kind of spicy. Yeah. I do like flank steak, but I, I like flank steak like uh, on a drum. Okay. On a pit barrel. Yeah, yeah. And then I th then it's going to be hot and super fast, but I'm still going to be medium rare in the middle. Yeah, when did we cook on one of those last? It's you even remember? Minute. It's been a minute. Somebody left Gosh. a comment in the video. When are you going to smoke something? And Wes and I was just talking about that off, off camera. Man, it takes a long time it to does. smoke shit. It does. Like, when you start a brisket, by the time you end it, that's a different day. It's a day, yeah. It's a I different mean, day. When I cook them at home, I put them on before, I, like after I put my kids to bed. Yeah, that's what I I put them on and go to bed now. Yeah, wake up, wrap it after I make coffee. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And when it's ready, a little after lunch. Yeah. Now, unless I'm cooking on the steak burner, and we're actually talking about doing that steak burner brisket and showing people how to get Texas brisket off of a steak burner. Or just, really, we just want to cook on the El Rey. I'll be honest with you been a long time it's been a long time i love that thing yeah no i do too it's like man. riding a bike anyway the, anywho the secret to those fajitas in my opinion was the salsa it was a salsa and i had planned another green salsa for that recipe but i think it would just been too much overload Yeah, because green salsa is always salty to me it's like the tomatillos just don't have the right acidity this or one something. doesn't use tomatillos it doesn't no what do you put in it to get it green just more peppers? Jalapenos and avocados. Oh, so it's like a... Dude, it's that, like... That, well... It's like a... It's a different ball game right yeah, there. Yeah, dude, I'm telling you right now, this is one of the best salsas. I probably need, just need to make that for on a yeah. uh, a YouTube short or we'll something like that. We'll cut it together. Like we got the whole thing. It is so... I have everything at the house to make it. And it takes no shit about 10 minutes. I mean, even if you cook something else and your grill's still hot and you have everything at the house, just make salsa and put chips in. This shit's un unbelievable. Though. That's good, man. How'd it taste after it sat for a day? The sauce, it only gets better. That I is know. A, On that recipe, that recipe, in the fajita recipe, the recipe of the salsa 
you better freaking make that. Yeah. Because I have messed up a bunch of... Do you remember the last... Did you taste... I, did I give you some of the last one? I think so. It no, because it was better. It was Adrian's. You were riffing yeah, on Adrian's. I, I riffed on... So Adrian, my buddy Adrian from Life Church, he gave me his recipe. That's make, right. I've had make, his. Yeah. And I'm like, you know, Adrian makes killer salsa. But I'm like, you know, I like his, but I like mine a little hotter. Yeah, anything we give you, you're like, you know what I'm going to do? And you're yeah, already in the I'm kitchen. I'm going to screw this up. You know? <laughs> I'm going to change it up. And usually I screw it up the first couple of times. No, not this But then this it one. gets better. Yeah, it was great. Because then I know, okay, now. And the reason why this one got better is because rather than using five jalapenos, I used two jalapenos, three serranos, and one habanero. Yeah, the habanero made a big difference. And the serranos have like a different kind of heat. It's like a mid-level heat. Yeah. It's like more, I don't know how to describe yeah, it, it, that. Well, it, it, I, I'll tell you what it is. You, you got front heat, middle heat, and back heat there. Yeah. Yeah, no, that, that's it. Those are the words. Yeah. And, sure. and and none of them's overpowering. And I know people are listening and are probably going, you use that many pepper with four Roma tomatoes and a quarter of an onion? I'm like, yep. Yep. And believe you me, it's not going to be near was, as hot no. as what you think. It was good. Yeah. To, truthfully, I probably, for my liking... I could have probably put three more habaneros in there. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I, I thought think, it was great. I, I thought the heat was good. I will say it is better warm than yes. it is cold, in mm. my opinion. I wonder if you fire roasted it. Tends but, to man, be. when you put the – dude, we was tearing that thing up on some chips. I bet. Tearing I'm glad we it made up. it last because we all just grazed. But I think the, the reason why this was one of my favorite recipes is because of – the ingredients and where I got them. I got them from the lo- local uh, Mexican store. Dude, yeah. And this place. Produce is good. I, it, it's like these These are one of the places like you go, man, I, I want to tell my friends, but. I can't have y'all. I don't need that many months. Hurting the over. supply. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Their produce section. Lights out. Lights out. Dang, I got to find out. Will you tell me? Yeah. I'll do. All right, cool, cool. Yeah, I will. We'll get, we'll get to, you know, off camera. What do you think about them? So you had eaten one before I, we were done doing our thing, but I did get to try one and they were, the thing I always mess up with fajitas is the meat. I overcook it. Mm-hmm. I just, I go to cooking it real fast. I probably don't have the right tools. I just, I throw it in a cast iron rock and it's just so hot. And once you get heat on the pan, it's still ripping hot. Yeah. And it, you know, you try to do all of it at one time. And I think having that flat top makes a big difference. I like that you have like, you got a hot side and a cold side. And well, you that, can, well, hold on. That ain't about, I know it's not supposed to be that way, but. And they still refuse to fix it. Oh, we ought to run that up the chain. That's for another for another episode. That's uh, <laughs> who, 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 Twin Eagle. <laughs> you got a vendetta. We, we, we sent them a, a, <laughs> another thing the other day. Like, hey, listen, they're like, well, you need to give us the you know the serial number and all that. And I'm like, okay, well, you know, here it all is. Nothing. Crickets. Crickets. Jeez. I'm like, Jesus Lord. And you know that's you know that's one thing that we do with our company. Customer service is. Yeah, it breaks. We replace it. Probably one of the most important. Like you shit on a customer, like that's yeah. it. So now the I do have a hot and cold side. It just so happens to be the cold side is you know we have you know, to use it. I'm sure there's probably they just probably need to uh, send somebody out and just tweak it. But yeah, something small. They refuse to. No, I thought they were really good. I thought you did a good job. I think the the salsa was clutch in the way you cooked the veggies to have a little snap in them. Still, mm, they yeah. weren't like all floppy. Yeah. That, that was, that was, that was a game changer. Because they say, I, I forget what I was listening to. Is this brain scientist? He said that our brains like contrast when we yeah. eat. Yep. And that's what, like food scientists made Oreos. So like it's not just that you ha- you're powerless. It's that they like, they're in your brain. Yeah. So like the, the crunch of the cookie and that like softness of the cream in the middle. Yeah. It's like crack for your, like the serotonin yeah. in your no. head's like, yes. We anyway, should, we should do that's that. what it felt like. It was yeah. like a serotonin you rush know from what a fat is I don't think that video will do that well on YouTube. Yep. Yeah. Just because people are going to go, well, I know how to make fajitas and they're going to sleep on this. So I'm going to, I probably need to, or by the time this comes out, I will already have, I'm, I'm going to name it something that little clickbaity. Little clickbaity. Like you need to watch this dipshit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I would get me. Be like, I got I to gotta stop everything. I'm going to watch yeah. this video. No dipshits can watch us. Yep. It's good, though. It's good. Cool. It's good. Bring it home. You know, the one thing I did like, you know, it, is the fact that we roasted those vegetables on the, on the Weber. Yeah. For the or salsa. On the for the Hasty salsa. Bake. Oh, on the Hasty Bake. I'm yeah. sorry. I'm sorry. 
it, you know, that cooking them on the grill grates, though, gives you less. They, there's not flare ups. I feel like you can get them a little bit more flavor on them, maybe, because it just sits there longer. No, we did. We, I moved the grill grate. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh, okay. You're right. Well, on the, on the hasty bake, I just remember they start big. dancing around. Yeah. Put them down. They're like, Ugh, uh, uh. Yeah. No, I did. I did remove the grill grates on there. So that's a killer video. You have any other, you know, you know what Even I want to learn how to make? What do you want to learn? Uh, charro beans. Charro beans. Let's do it. I mean, just for hard. fun. Yeah. I mean, just heck. Uh, we've been eating them lately because they're, you know, when we go grab Mexican food and, the, you know, they don't have the grease that refried right. beans have in them. That's why I love refried beans. Yeah. That's why, I'm, yeah. I ain't no kidding. But they're still good, though, man. I, I really do like them. I haven't put some jalapenos in there. Ooh. And then I get them with my uh, uh, carne guisada. Carne guisada. I don't know. What does that mean? I don't know. Red sauce. Oh, oh, oh cool. Yeah. It, it's just, you know. You know, shit, it's all the same. Meat, cheese, <laughs> cheese vegetables. meat in different orders. <laughs> yeah. Uh. What's, a, what's in a burrito? Uh, tortilla, cheese, cheese, meat, vegetables. It's uh, starch, <laughs> yeah. uh, carbs. What about a tostada? Uh, tortilla, cheese, meat, and vegetables. <laughs> Sweet. What about nachos? Uh, tortilla, cheese, meat, and vegetables. <laughs> it's good. They're chips. So, I don't know. Well, hey, I want to thank everybody for watching. Um, as always, we do this for free. If you want to share this with a friend, I would greatly appreciate it. Leave us some uh, some ideas down below on what you would like to see on this podcast. And uh, we'll catch you in the next video. Peace. <laughs>